A steaming cup of coffee is the first thing that millions of people reach for every day, especially in the morning and especially in Norway. In a country where the sun doesn't get out of bed for the good proportion of the year, it's not surprising that most Norwegians need a good strong fix of caffeine to make it through those long mid-winter nights. In fact, 11 million cups of coffee are consumed each day by Norwegians. And that's an amazing fact because there's only some 6 million people that live in this country. Norway's coffee revolution has been steadily brewing for the last 10 years. And today there's few places in the world that can match Norway's coffee connoisseurship, especially in Oslo, its capital city. From small batch artisan roasters to specialist coffee bars run by world champion baristas, Oslo is definitely fueled by coffee. And today I'm going to take you to my top three coffee shop picks in Oslo. Let's go. Just let, just let me get dressed first. Right now I'm in the center of Grunelöke, Oslo's hippest area with vintage stores, with street art, with tons of different restaurants. This is really a passionate place for coffee. I'm heading to visit Tim Vindeloo, Norway's world champion barista in 2004. Vindeloo is definitely the number one coffee expert in Norway. Let's go and visit his coffee shop and let's have a really good taste of coffee. This is a coffee bar you've got to visit. Unfortunately, when I came here today, it's closed. It's renovating and it's going to be open in a couple of days. This is where some of the best blends and the best brews are made. You've got to get away from the city center. You've got to get back into the outer line streets and find out where these places are. Okay, what is it about coffee? Why is it completely taken off? I'm one of those people that when food or drink hits my tongue, really honestly do not know what I'm tasting. It's very difficult for me to, to place what is inside that taste. In coffee, there's four tasting terms. The first one is aroma. And there's nothing more than I like waking up to a fresh smell of coffee. It's fantastic. It's the aroma yeah, that attracts me. Another tasting term is acidity. And acidity, it, when you eat citrus, you can feel that on the tip and on the sides of your tongue. And coffees with high acidity are often described as bright, and tangy, and crisp. Another taste is body. The weight of the coffee, does it feel light or does it feel full in your mouth? The sensation is very similar to when you are ex drinking milk. In whole milk, it's a different feeling than when you drink non-fat milk. A coffee with light body will feel light on your tongue. In contrast, you feel the weight of a full-bodied coffee on your tongue and the flavor will remain. Fourth is flavor. How does a coffee taste? Is there a hint of citrus or coca or berries? These are just a few of the flavors that you can taste in coffee. Some coffee flavors are bold, others are very subtle.
Okay, what happens when you mix an Australian barista and pastry chef with a Norwegian barista and musician? Well, they have come together in 2015 to create what is behind me the most hottest coffee shop in Oslo, and it's called Taylor and Jurgen. Coffee's pretty good. Pretty good? What are you drinking? I've tried it many places. Yeah? This is very good. It's the best that I've tried in Oslo so far. Okay. I'm drinking macchiato. A macchiato, yeah? A little wet, not okay. as dry. Yeah? It's good. It's Then that's going to drop the water into the lower chamber, and then we put the piston in, which is our filter as well. And then we drop the coffee in, and then it's going to go through a pre programmed uh, brewing cycle, which we have a tremendous amount of control over. Is that everything? Thank you very much. Good stuff. Um, Thank you. Apple, You're very welcome. Okay, I'm drinking a coffee which is called the uh, Frankincense Gold and Coffee. And the only description, or the only I can describe it, is that it tastes like magic. <laughs> totally magic. Oh, Taylor and Jurgen, you gotta taste it to believe it. It's really good. Not only does Taylor Jurgen make a great cup of coffee, but they make probably the city's best donuts. This is an apple fritter, and I can't wait to sink my teeth into this, let me tell you. Wow, this is not instant. This is fresh, homemade, and the texture is absolutely fantastic, and the taste is really, really good. <laughs> Taylor and Jurgen's donuts are so good that people buy them and then they take it to another coffee shop where they can sit down and eat them. That's crazy. Behind me is Norway's royal palace. The coffee bar we're going to go and visit supposedly is a hangout of the Crown Prince Håkon. I chose this coffee bar because I enjoy the atmosphere and the people who work there. Coffee is all about a social setting. You meet people in the mornings for coffee, you talk about work, you talk about business and you talk about pleasure. When I'm in Briskeby, which is a pretty affluent uh, district in Oslo, I have coffee at Mocha. It's a friendly place, great people, and the coffee is uh, rather good. I'm gonna have some Ethiopian coffee today, and uh, it's gonna warm me up after a little winter day. So how many minutes do you take on it? Around three minutes or three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first, put the side around thirty-five of water. Yes. And this is first uh, pouring, and wait about like thirty-five seconds. Wow. Coffee is quite an art, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like wine. Now like, it's yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So coffee yeah. has lots of like a different type of uh, flavor. Yeah. And everybody like feel different flavor. Okay. Everybody has different tongues. So yes. Yeah, she's very interesting. That's why I like it. 